So sometimes it might be it might look rude, like I don't remember you. But, but it, deep down you just yeah 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 yeah. So I, I'm like I come next time when I call you with your tune, and they're like, oh, what's up? Yeah. Don't worry, you're just coding. Yeah, you're yeah. just opening that file, you know. Yeah. yeah but yeah. yeah, it it really community really helped me mm. plenty, Lord. Mm. And I remember a year after, um, I was nominated. Georgia nominated me to attend or to be part of the Google Developers Expert Program mm. GDE. Mm-hmm. And I was part of it. Were you an uh, Android DD? I no, I was not able to finish the program. Okay. But I was part of the program for about maybe three months, mm. and then I had some challenges and had to drop off. Mm. But then uh, the fact that I was, she saw something in me. Yeah. And she nominated me to be in the program. Yeah. And the program actually helped me to even learn more about. Mm. A programmer is more than a coder. Yeah. You can be a mentor, you can be a developer relations person, you can be so many other things. Yes. So at the end of the day, the program helps me to build my confidence, mm. learn how to do, um, blog, mm-hmm. blog about code, blog yeah. about uh, what programming is like, mm. be a mentor. I was also mentored to be a mentor, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it was really, it was really something awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Really, 2019 was my year. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love... No, you're, you're, 28, you, you 2019 look, was my you, year. You don't, you don't look like you're done with everything. Like, ah, this, you know, okay. There's so much for you. So <laughs> how do you transition, uh, uh, you know, 2019, 2020? And then do you work for several companies before you work for the current company you're working? Um, yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. So when I was still with Data Vision, I was able to work for a, a remote company in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Uh, they reached out. Actually, I applied for it. I saw a job ad mm. from, what's her name? I want to shout out. Mm. Shout out. What's her name? Valen- Valentine. Mm. Valentine? Had, had a name. Mm. She's from Kenya. Mm. I saw an ad from her post, mm. and I applied for it, and I got the job. Mm. So I was working at Data Vision while I was still doing a remote job mm. in Ken- from Kenya. Mm. And that really also So you are doing two lot. jobs? Um, this you mind needed Kenya, to work. In, in Kenya, there's this n- uh, knowledge of tech, tech boys. Uh, the tech boys, yeah, tech boys. So there is now tech girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yes, I do. So but, you are the but, tech but girl. But huh? No, but for that me, that is 2020. That is, no, that is yes, 2020, 20, uh, 2020, yes, 2020, uh-huh. 2021 through 2020 through 2021. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it was really an awesome time mm. because for me, it was. It was more of getting to understand what mm. other people need. Mm. Because if I'm working at a particular company, yes, mm. of course. But then if I get a, somebody else who needs my expertise, mm. I'm also learning from them. Mm. Like what their business mind look like. Yeah. So it really helps me to learn how business is connected with IT. Yeah. How marketing is connected with IT. How yeah. sales is connected with IT. Yeah. So a couple of projects helped me move quicker mm. and learn faster mm. yeah yeah oh amazing stuff it was really awesome year honestly. and it's still back-end android oh yes i mean java backend and then and android, android okay. yes that's yeah. it that's it okay. and then um last year is when i uh, got a role in vodacom and i applied for it mm. and actually got it mm. just like as a front end so i didn't know that okay. i would be going for a front end the role just says software specialist but ah, i didn't know what i was gonna I do yeah but i when i but joined in enough software you are confident that i'm gonna do this. I, I was gonna do something right mm. so when i joined in they put me in a squad mm. so in vodacom we work in squads mm. and we have we work in an, an, an agile way mm. you understand when i say agile way yes yes, yes. that's how we do it at it so. <laughs> <laughs> we work agile yeah. way, yeah. so um, they kept me in a in a in a, in a squad, mm. and I was joined with a few other members: two back backend developers and two front developers. And I'm among the front end developers mm. at Vodacom. But that nice. was how is that experience? Year. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I did not apply back then, but yeah. it it was it it's is really awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, that's interesting to hear. And, and, and there was no like happy in transition of. There's no what? Like your transition from back end to like full stack. Oh, I, or was, I was struggling. End? Yeah. Is I it full stack or just front just end? Just front end. Okay. I was struggling. Yeah. Because you know, when you're a back end developer, mm. at a, 
uko umeka vitu in the carpet eh? mm-hmm. una una push tu huku cold mm-hmm. inaonekana iko fresh mm-hmm. but deep down mm-hmm. ni umevuruga tu vitu kwa ndani but mm-hmm. nobody asks you because you're a back end developer mm-hmm. but for front end is different everyone is seeing what you're my doing. friend that button if it is not yellow uh, of yellow yeah. sijui nini the whole <laughs> get stakeholder committee will come down on you yeah. if a column is not straight the yeah. whole committee will come down on you yeah. but in the beginning i was struggling i yeah. was really struggling but i got a hang of it Mm. I really got a hang of it. Mm. I learned and I thank God of my I thank God about my manager. Mm. Shout out to Amani, mm. my manager. Yeah. Welcome. He's he's really awesome. So he I guided me yeah. very so. Do you see them our men around mm. me? Mm. Mm. Are you married? <laughs> are, are you married? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, but yeah. he really helped me transition. Mm. He would ask me a couple of questions every day like are you okay? Mm. Do you need help? Mm. Do you need like you need more tools for mm. you to learn mm. and the good thing i'm i'm working with flutter mm. framework mm. of which get this mm. was the first framework that i worked with when georgia told me to be a speaker mm-hmm. so when georgia told me to do it, to be a speaker mm. she recommended that i speak on flutter ah now you remember the you lady you mentioned connected? Maureen okello mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. justin she she was a Flutter uh, community ah, uh, lead. Actually, lead. she is. She's among the top Flutter community mm. uh, developers across the world. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, when I did some community stuff in in Kisi back in 2018, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I normally have, like, a fireside chat of sort mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. some round table of mm-hmm. guys who are interested. Like, you can ask me one-on-one question. And she asked me, I want to make it... I don't know. Okay, I've not made it, but she used me as an example. Uh and she asked me what can I do? And you know, oh. if you ask me such a question and you ask it in the, in the right tone, I'll, right, yeah. I'll try to to understand you. Mm. So I said, okay, if you want to be like me, it's quite sometimes it's really stressful, especially now that you're a girl because I travel a lot. I I try to spend time with developers and I know it's not easy. As much as I find it easy myself, it might not be. No, I want to do that. So I said, one number one, you have to love people and you have to be in the community. Yep. And she said, I'll do that. Wow. I thought it's joke and said, I, and, and I normally say this, uh, I like to watch actions and words. So, but she followed her path and right now she's working for an EV company. I think 22 to now is like five years down the line. Wow. Right. So when you look at that, it's kind of interesting path. So. Mm. And, and this actually is telling any lady out there, it doesn't matter if you're in Dao or wherever you are, because Kisi is way, way far away from the from the city. And when I went there, actually, most of the guys were green. That was the, like the first call, right? But right now, they're producing the best because even the guys who have graduated come back and share mm. their experiences and they give them yeah. confidence that this is happening. And I was talking to developers in, uh, yesterday in mm. Dao. Some of them have studied, actually, most of them have studied in, in, Be- in Bear. And Bay is far away from Da. Very and far. someone might be thinking, ah, what, what is up? I don't know even what is happening in the in the world. On the w- you just need your laptop and the internet. You can That's be connected it. to anything, anything anywhere, right? In the world. And right now there are more events mm. uh, on, happening online, so you can connect and ask exactly. questions and whatnot. So don't give up, wherever you are, you really, can make it. Really. But uh, fast forward, uh, <laughs> you are you are a celeb. <laughs> you are a I'm not so, so there is Bennett. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, I know Bennett. Bahari what Junior. is he saying? <laughs> At Bahari Junior, I'm a huge fan of Nami and <laughs> Oh, I know Bennett. Number one awesome, fan awesome guy, be, man. Listen to this. Sorry. Number one fan to be specific. <laughs> And a laughing, sweating emoji, right? <laughs> Justin Peterson, my, my, my Nira. Yeah, she's, she's, she's just awesome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got And Bennett replied oh i know right <laughs> yeah so uh i mean you guys have questions for for your nazi as you go on with this conversation yeah ken you want to say something yeah i'm not sure i can hear you uh just one moment so that we can hear what is happening here just told your thought, Ken. Uh, a minute. A minute. A minute to hear what you're saying. 
Good, good, good. So go ahead. Uh, yes. Ken. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Uh, well, let me just finish my question. Is, is there a particular language that is easy for people to sort of learn to get into coding um, that maybe they can just practice on their own, for example? Okay, thank you. So you're asking, is there a particular uh, language that someone can learn to grow in coding? Just to confirm. Ken? Ken? I think we lost him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he was asking, like, is there a particular language that you need to learn to, like, grow in coding? Not really. Mm -hmm. But then at some particular point, you need to know what's around the market. Mm -hmm. What do clients need? Ah, what then, language okay. is has the most support? Yeah. Because you might be coding with a language that has less support community yeah. or has less support users. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's fun for you. Yeah. So just go for something that trending. Yeah. But one thing I always tell developers mm. is, you know, we, 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 have, to, we have too much ego. Mm. We want to put that CV mm. and say we know Java, HTML, Ruby, uh, you know, 10 languages, one mm. person. That's yeah. impossible. Yeah. That's really impossible. Yeah. So I really usually recommend get to know at least two languages. Mm -hmm. div, dive deep. Mm. Inside out, like yeah. if it's Java, open it, close, mm. go under, above. Like mm. if anything happens to Java, you just look at it and you understand what is happening. Mm. But then don't don't do basic stuff in all the languages, and then you say you know or you know all the languages. Mm. Just stick to what you believe will work or yeah. it's trending. Yeah, learn about it, deep dive about it, mm. build a project about it. Just yeah. a simple, crude mm. project. Yeah. Learn how to go about it and stick there. Yeah, don't don't. Don't, don't jump from one language to Exactly. Yeah. Don't jump from language to another. Just yeah. stick to what you know. Because at the end of the day, if a client comes or if a project comes, mm. they will not look at you with 10 languages. Mm. Uh, you know Java? Yeah. Do this. Yeah. Now, if you what doesn't work, if they want the project running. Yes, yes. Now, if you know it basically, mm. then it won't work. For, it's not going to look good on you. True, true. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that's, that's really uh, something good. And uh, maybe in addition to that is that uh, sometimes we understand different languages differently. Differently. But just know programming languages have same fundamentals. That's why most of the computing courses exactly. teaches you fundamental programming. Yes. To understand that either it's OOP or, you know, Agile e approach. Exactly. Or, you know, big O notation actually is processed in different languages the same way. And remember, most of the languages are built on compilers. Exactly. As much as they are low level or high level. And, uh, yeah. So they're yeah. built on each other. So... If you're good in one language and you can solve any kind of problem in that one mm, language that mm, is your favorite, mm. then you're good to go. And yes. sometimes you'll not be afraid when you yeah. see someone offering a job uh, that doesn't, doesn't specify that this is the language. So you can learn and just be honest about it as much as you understand some yes. of the fundamentals uh, of computing. I agree 100%. Yeah, Justine, uh, you want to ask a question? You can unmute Yeah. Me. Um... Yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, an echo from your end. You, you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so Namin was one of those people. I don't have a question, actually, but I wanted just to, you know, share my my uh, gratitude to, to Namin, you know. Namin is one of those people that I met early um, uh, on the community when I joined the, the developer community in, in Tanzania. And there are some things she said that really, really helped me a lot. And one of them is like she said this, um, because back in the day I was still a very newbie and there were a lot, I was like asking myself some questions like, how, how will I be able to like work in, the, in real life, like in, re, in a real job? Mm. But one day Namini said, um, you know, you, you just, you don't have to know it all, right? Mm -hmm. When you get a job, uh, you come across maybe something that you don't understand. Yeah. There, there are things you can do. One of them that she said, you can buy courses on Udemy about mm. any specific topic, any new thing that you don't, you know, you don't understand. Yeah. And I, I tried that. I tried that on that very early time. Mm. I started buying courses on Udemy about uh, React. So, yeah, so I, I, I thank you, Namini, and everyone in the community, Georgia, Bennett, and everybody. Uh, thank you very much. I just wanted to say that. Thank you, Namin. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm out. Amazing stuff from uh, Justin. Yeah, I'll just repeat because Amini, uh, and Amini could not hear yeah, you. Hear. Um, so uh, just Justin uh, actually is giving his uh, uh, feedback and and and, and uh, showing gratitude for what you shared. Uh, like he remembers this vividly that there was a time uh, we you talked and you advised him to buy some courses on uh, on Udemy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. really? <laughs> and say that actually helped oh, him yeah. a lot to uh, figure out what he needed to figure out. So shout out to Nami. Oh, <laughs> shout yeah. out to you, Justin. <laughs> yeah. Any other person who would like to unmute and uh, yeah, just ask? But as we conclude, so Nami, um, what what one thing would you say to again a developer? It doesn't have to to be a girl or a gentleman who is looking to grow in, in, in their career, as you have done evidently. Uh, and uh, of course, it doesn't have to be like your own path, but there's an experience that you have gotten that maybe you don't need someone to make those mistakes that you made. Uh, one thing I would say, maybe a few things. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them is start small. Mm -hmm. um, when I say start small, I mean um, no rush. Don't rush. No rush. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays there's a competition of which developer is good and which one is bad. Mm -hmm. who are, which one is famous and who is not famous. Mm. But then at the end of the day, you just need to focus on what you know. Yeah. Like I said, just deep dive mm. fully yeah. into mm. what you know, mm. understand it. Mm. Even if something happens, a project comes, you can do it in a blink mm. because you know everything by head. Yeah. You know? Or in a situation where a project comes in, and for example, for me, if if a project comes to my table, or if I am told about a certain thing, like a person comes, oh, Namini, I have this and this and this. Mm. In my head, I'm running code mm. because I'm thinking, how can this be done quicker? Because mm. obviously, clients want things yesterday, you know. Mm. So how can this be done quicker? How can this be done? For me, it's gonna be easy mm. because I've spent an amount of time learning, mm. and it took a while. So learning should not stop. Should not never stop. Mm. Just start slowly. Mm. As for me, I started slowly with a book, mm. a huge book. I Daniel, yes. what you did to me. <laughs> 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 it was a huge book, but mm. at the end of the day, it really helped me because mm. I, you need to read, understand, mm. try, mm. read, understand. You fail, you come back. It's a hope. I did it. It's a, exactly. Process, yeah. Exactly. You you don't you can't stop. Mm. So try. Don't lose hope. And another thing is communities. Mm. As much as some think it's a waste of time, mm. I promise you it's not. Okay. Because it is today that you, you, you're coding as a very normal developer. Mm. You think you're minor. Mm. But when you meet a fellow person, mm. you all will be struggling with if else. Yeah. Any for loop, what I'm not struggle. It's yeah. just that you're shy to say you're, you're struggling with for loop and yeah. another person is shy to say. But at the end of the yes, day, you yes. all figure it out. You sit together. Mm. And um, I don't know. Be supportive yeah. of another person. Mm. Because as, as you can see for me, uh, there are other sides of my story that are really not good to share or really not encouraging i can say mm. because i've been put down i've been looked down mm. because please, i'm please a, share. I've, <laughs> really, mm. I've been put down because mm. i'm a female developer that mm. i don't know mm. i'm not involved in decision making because i'm a female developer yeah. but at the end of the day yeah i used to push through yeah there's this boss of mine who once told me you are very aggressive mm. you should but tone down <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> no, like that's what they were saying. Yeah, like too, yeah. And I'm, when I say aggressive, I mean like if I say I'm doing it this way, I will do it that way. Mm. But then it's for, for the for a good cause of the project or company. Yeah. But they, they didn't see it that way. They thought I was trying to take someone else's job. Yeah. Or I was trying to take over the project. Mm. But I was just trying to show them that if we do it this way, it's a better way. To it's do a better it. way to do it. But yeah. I promise you, mm. it's they never understood in one week mm. or two. Mm. It took even two months or three. Wow. For and them then to they act, came back to and exactly what, to exactly you're what to I what in, tried to suggest mm. to them. Mm. So patience. Yes. yes. I, I, I think I had a lot of patience with them. Yeah. And few people that I worked with yeah. um, put down. And also you believed in what you... I believed in what I, 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 I was doing because yeah. I had I knew if I do it this way, mm. it's going to work. Mm. What, you're, what way you're using is, is a long the cut. Way, it's yeah. a long way, yeah. which is 
we're using so many resources just mm. to get to one point. True, true. So I think I had to push myself and show them mm. that you know what, mm. I'm gonna go home. Yeah. Not mm. sleep. Yeah. Code the way I know, mm. and then put it aside. Mm. I won't show them. And then when they screw <laughs> up, is when I'll say, "Oh, yeah. but you there is the, this." Yeah. So they'll yeah. be like, oh, go with Namini's plan. Mm. But it's the plan that I told you mm. two months ago. You just didn't listen. That happens a lot, by the way, even it, in the middle really, world, actually. But I, I think for, for, for me, it really happened so much to the point that I really thought that at some point I was like, why am I doing why this? Why am I here? Why am I here? Yeah. Why am I struggling with people who don't want to give me? I didn't want to sit at the table. Yeah. No. <laughs> but it's just that I wished my ideas were yeah. more taken into consideration because I was 100% sure that my mm. ideas will work. Yeah. And another thing is for companies that are trying to hire people or they're trying to recruit people, mm -hmm. like go easy mm. on, on them. Mm. It's not that you have 10, exper 10 years experience, mm. they have six months experience. True, true. So when you, you bark at them, them and, when and you yeah, bark at yeah, them, yeah. you're not helping. You're just yeah, yeah. diminishing their confidence. Yeah. So if it, was, if it wasn't for my, for my boss, Daniel, mm. to elevate me and tell yeah. me you have ap 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 mm -hmm. fix this yeah, yeah and he will let you fix yourself you won't be here ah fam do you know how many people yeah. give a shout out to their ex their ex boss or be daniel you are unique <laughs> like daniel whatever wherever you are please uh give you a shout out and if you're available tomorrow come at uh Bruni. Maybe even share, you know, a snippet. You don't have to spend the whole day because maybe I'm sure you're, you're really <laughs> engaged. Present. But uh, really, this is very important. You've been mentioned here a couple <laughs> of times. I would love to meet you. So it, 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 I, I really thank you because you had patience with me. I would look at the book. Yeah. Code Kabisa and Asama do this mm. and then run the code. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm running. Mm. Red screen. Yeah. You know, and I would really get stressed about it. But he would mm. look at it and say... Mm. Him, him look at it in a different angle. Mm. He will let me do it myself. Yeah. But I'm so sure if I had a different boss and buying a corner back at me, I wouldn't mm. have had the confidence to yeah. do it. Yeah. And for pro coders, mm. don't be afraid of errors. Mm. Because errors actually help you learn code. Mm -hmm. For me, if I run code if and if it doesn't bring an error, mm. I rewrite it again yeah. because I need it to come with an error so I understand what is happening. Yes, yes. So for pro coders <laughs> or for experts, you know, don't be afraid of code. Yeah. Embrace them because that's how you learn more. Mm. That's how you understand what you're going through. To date, mm. I will still use Stack Overflow. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be afraid to don't, also use uh, Stack Overflow. Don't be afraid. Don't yeah. be afraid. So usually I usually call my teammate, my colleague who I'm working with at front end and I say, guy, listen. Yeah. I know you're busy. I'm sorry. Can I have two minutes of your time? Yeah. Because I'm looking at this code mm. There's something I screwed up. And he will look at it and say, ne, na mini, iyo for loop, ito mm. inje. Ah. To date. Yeah. It'll be yeah, like, yeah. iyo loop, umeweka, umekosea, is yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. reverse it and it's gonna work. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm not afraid to ask the stupidest question. Because mm. somebody will be like, hey, you've been calling for maybe five years, six years, and you're in kushinda. Mm. But I'm not afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. Because at some point, my mind is getting get stuck mm. like so i need somebody else i need a fresh eye i need a fresh mm. angle of things mm. to look at things so i usually just bug him mm. even if it's after, after work hours mm. be like man empu look at this me up in mission ah na mean you know and we'll just and laugh it, it just work but i've been dealing with it for one day mm. he just saw it in one second and he figured it out yeah. so the support and it's fun and like it's you fine. Are you like, I don't, at the end of the day, you yeah. need each other. I, right? We need each other. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of errors and I'm not afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a stupid question, I will ask. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I know it's helping me. Yeah. As much as you think it's nothing, but to me, it's something. Yeah. I learn every day. Yeah. So I think those may be a few comments I will I will add on, but I will never, I will really deeply stress on communities. Yeah. If developers build a community, even build if a community. high school, time uh, during all days nowadays gdg is bringing student developer groups yes yes like yes. i wish the 
students in tech and computer science right now could really grab on that yeah, because yeah. there's so many opportunities out there. Yeah. Plenty of opportunities. Amazing. And stuff. for us who are already in the field, mm. we should go back to school, mm. to their schools, universities, yeah. and train them and help them yeah. so that they don't go through the path that we have been through. Absolutely. So that's what I really try to do with mm. my high school. Mm. Usually they call me back and say, come and talk to the students, mm. and I will go and talk to them because I know. Yeah. Back then, I didn't have people to come and talk to me about it, for sure. except for my brothers and and my dad and mm. uncles. Mm. But just give back because Absolutely. you're not losing anything. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you can only anything. gain by giving. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so you share your knowledge and see what others actually. The kids might actually teach you something about you knowing. Like, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, yeah. So it's another opportunity to like meet kids or yes. meet other people who are more knowledgeable than you. Yes. Also to verify or validate what you know if it's yeah. still available uh, i mean you know, valid because one thing that people don't know is that tech changes very fast and quickly man the easiest way to know very. that it's tough is mm. through the community very much there are no so. books that are updated every day no. to cater for everything no. so namini thank you so much for uh, joining us today it's an thank honor and even uh, the guys who have joined us uh, joined us on twitter is approved that what you have done as despite you not seeing it's a big thing mm. it is a big thing and uh you even having this conversation itself actually proves a lot of things that there is so much that we can do as africans and yes africa, plenty, yeah plenty. yeah and as africa's talking we believe in empowering uh, developers mm. as impact masters you're telling tech ecosystem stories mm. from africa because it's not uh, covered a lot mm. and most of the time our story is changed or you know stolen or deleted exactly and we don't get to tell it so uh impact masters and africa stalking is dedicated to rewrite these stories using podcasts among many other channels uh to ensure that each and every person in this uh one billion people in africa uh they're enjoying uh, you know genuine stories uh, genuine conversations uh you know raw kind of conversation mm. that actually mm. reflects who they mm. are and showing how much this is capable uh, regardless of gender because also there's this narrative like you don't care about you know even there's this conversation we had and uh one of the things that we knew we, we came up with or we understood each other is that africans really gives a woman large space in everything yep but True. the narrative is that like we are behind in that so we Very can teach our, our, the world uh, one or two things mm. uh, and evident is your story whereby you're saying your brother played a key mm. part your hunk played a key mm. part your like father that. played a key, a key part, right? And uh, even if your mom was not understanding was what was going on, there was that clear understanding it's all from the point of not wanting you to succeed, but from the point of love. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask a controversial question as we finish this. Really, yes, about please. Tanga, <laughs> as I promised. <laughs> so there's so much that is said about Tanga. Uh, <laughs> I uh, is it true? <laughs> what did you hear? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can number we talk one, about it? <laughs> number one. <laughs> Do you want me to to list them down? <laughs> no, it's, it should. Yeah. It should. Like, <laughs> uh, like uh, you know, that's the home of uh, is it love or romance? Both. 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 It's true. And also, it's a home of um, dawa. <laughs> yeah. I don't like how the, the way you're looking at me. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> I cannot. Yeah. Uh, accept, neither deny. Uh, uh, that tells me a lot. That tells me a lot. Am I safe? <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. You'll be <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it, forget, forget about, about it. it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. That was a fantastic conversation. And it's yours truly, uh, Michael Kemadi of Front. MK, I'm bringing you this wonderful conversation about tech ecosystem in Africa. Uh, covering stories that are ne uh, not covered anywhere else and then sharing and getting them straight from us. Until next time, this is Africa Stalking Podcast in combination with Impact Masters Podcast. See ya. Mm -hmm.